Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, doing a follow-up for the events of the sixth sacred month, that month called Elul in our Bibles. As you know, we try to put out a new moon report every month, letting you know when the Sabbath days occur, when the new moon a celebration will occur, and events that occurred biblically during that particular month and when we did our new moon report about a month ago for the sixth month the month Elul we mentioned some dates some very important dates that occurred in the six months back there in history you find those in a book of Nehemiah Haggai and even first Esdras and in today's class we're going to discuss those and we're going to show you how those biblical dates actually point to the construction of the walls of the third temple as well as the start of the building of the third temple yep that's right we can use these verses to show when the third temple construction will start down to the exact year now we're looking here at a website called renewedmoon.com which is our second witness as far as when the sixth month started of course our first witness was the new moon in the sky but as a second witness we typically use some type of internet software or website like this one to verify what we saw in the sky and we can see in renewedmoon.com that there was observances of the new moon on August the 20th of 2020 so the evening of August the 20th began the new month and the daylight hours of August the 21st were the first day of the sacred month Elul you can watch the video we did on the new moon report for the month Elul for more details but in this one we just want to pull out certain verses to discuss events that happened during that month the first one we want to talk about is over in the book Nehemiah in chapter 6 verse 15 says so the wall was finished on the 25th day of the month Elul in 52 days now I am using the Revised Standard Version this time to be consistent we'll see why here in a second but here in Nehemiah in chapter 15 it's talking about how the walls were finished now if you remember the story this is talking about the second temple after the first temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar this is the time after King Cyrus had gotten the word of the Lord to allow the children of Israel to go back and start rebuilding Jerusalem and one of the first things that they did was actually went and start rebuilding the walls now this reminds me of something that I've been working here on recently and that's cracking the codes of the timelines in the book of Revelation I've been looking to make sense of that Revelation 12 sign in the sky and the other events in the book of Revelations as they relate to timing and as it turns out that tetrad that we saw in the sky that started over there on Passover of 2014 talking about those blood moons that occurred on four feast days in a row but we'll come back to that in a second the next verses that we want to look at are over in Haggai and chapter 1 whereas Nehemiah in chapter 6 was talking about the walls being built in Haggai in chapter 1 it's talking about the command to rebuild the temple when you look in at verses 14 and 15 it says that on the 24th day of the sixth month is when they came to do work on the house of the Lord so that is the time when they actually start to build the temple where Nehemiah was talking about building the wall or finishing the wall as it says on a 20 fifth day of Elul it was several years later that they actually started working on the temple itself on the 24th day of the month now I found that really interesting that the walls were finished and the temple was constructed within two days of each other several years apart 
So when does the 24th day of the sixth month fall in the year 2020? Now I'm looking over here at timeanddate.com, which is showing you the correlation between the Hebrew months and the secular month, August. We see that they show that Elul 1 was on the 21st of August. Of course, it started the evening of the 20th. But the daylight hours of the 21st would have been the day that people normally would have a new moon celebration. We see that Elul 24 would be on the 13th day of the month starting on September the 12th. So that will correspond to the day that they actually started construction on the second temple. But looking back over here at Nehemiah chapter 6, when it's talking about the 25th day of the month, the 25th day of Elul for 2020 will start on the evening of September the 13th and will be the daylight hours of September the 14th. And we know that they actually dedicated the house after it was built on the first day of the seventh month. We find that in Ezra chapter 6 and Nehemiah in chapter 8. Remember that this temple that we're talking about, just like these walls that we're talking about, are actually spiritual in nature so don't be out there looking for something over in Jerusalem being built out of bricks or mortar this construction is actually taking place in your heart where the third temple will be built and dedicated okay so you say well how does all of this fit into the timeline this puzzle that we've been working on the times of revelation now we have been working to break this down into small bits and pieces you can see here from what you're looking at it is a pretty huge project as we understand the different time elements listed in the book of revelation but when we come over here and we look at the early parts of that starting at the first 42 months which began on Passover of four 1514 which was indicated by that first tetrad blood moon that fell on Passover we can start to see that each one of these days actually represents a year now that's not an original thought I first heard that on a YouTube website several years ago but I ignored it because it really didn't make sense to me I can't remember who it was but he was trying to, to explain how each of those feast days would be represented by a year in our time. I wish I could remember who it was because now here in 2020 what he said is making perfect sense. Let me show you what I mean. If you look at this calendar over here at timeanddate.com this is some type of Israel calendar that I just discovered just a few days ago and I haven't had time to look at it it's actually superimposing the sacred month Elul over the month of September for the year 2020 now I'm assuming that this does this for every year and if it does this is going to be a very handy chart but anyway we can gather a little bit of information out of here saying that the month Elul has 29 days in it now look at an image I got from a video created by that channel called Return of the King. It's showing the blood moons that have occurred all the way back to 2010. Well, when you look at the Revelations 12 sign in the sky, which fell on Rosh Hashanah 2017, understanding that that sign occurred on the first day of the seventh month, which would have been the time of the dedication of the temple and then come back to this calendar you'll see that Elul 25 is exactly six days before Tishri 1 there are six days from Elul 25 to the first day of the seventh month well that would take you back to the year 2011 and we'll cover this in another video, but that will point you back to the Nehemiah 6 and 15 date, which was when the walls were finished. 
Well, if you go back to Elul 24, that will correspond to 2010, which would be the Haggai chapter 1, 14 and 15 date, which was when they actually came to start working on the temple. So what this is saying, if you're able to understand it, understanding that there's a year for a day is that the 24th day of the sixth month fell on 2010. Right around this blood moon you see there in 1221 would have been the beginning of the construction of the temple. Talking about that third temple. So what these blood moons was telling us way back there in 2010 was the beginning of the creation of the third temple. So we can add this piece to the puzzle that we're working on starting back there in 2010 with this blood moon on December the 21st, 2010. We see that it fell right after Hanukkah of 2010, which ended on December the 9th. And these days of Hanukkah are turning out to be extremely important. Have you heard of the X that crosses America? Starting with a lunar eclipse back there in August of 2017 and will be finalized in April of 2024. The midpoint of that X across America is Hanukkah 2020. That's right, this year. There's a lot of people speculating on the Great Awakening happening on or about Rosh Hashanah of 2020. Well, you guys be my witness that as of today, 9-11-2020, I am publicly stating that I no longer believe that anything universally spiritual will occur on Rosh Hashanah of 2020 or any of the fall feast days of 2020. My official watch date for the year 2020 is now Hanukkah. I'm not going to make a big deal about it until after the feast days are over because it will be rejected by most people who have their hearts set on something happening on Rosh Hashanah. But after that date, I'm going to do a video saying I told you so. I told you nothing was going to happen on Rosh Hashanah with the purpose of drawing your attention to Hanukkah of 2020.